Dark Side Detective. Now, we are going to be checking this thing out. I thought it looked interesting. Case one, Malice in Wonderland. Yes. Excuse me. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watch me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up. He told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid Jenny went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. After you, detective. You know, whenever standing in this rain stops being fun for you. Oh, God. New voice. Officer Dooley. Why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh... That's Detective McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. McQueen makes finest, eh? I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I am rarely around my kid. So, how can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Jenny. I'll live here with you, Detective. I don't have much dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice she was missing? I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, de- Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room, so I'm gonna have to have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Glassy stuff. Ah, Bell's. Fond memories. I mean, where was he? A bell shop? <laughs> Matches. Taking up enough of your time. I have nothing further to say, Detective. Kindly leave me be. Nice schooner. Haha, <laughs> you dummy, it's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. <sighs> I'm gonna keep up with these voices as long as I can. Alright. Daughter's bedroom. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, can I ask? My baby! My baby is gone! Can you tell me about Jen? She just disappeared! My baby! Is there anything? You have to find her! I'm not gonna... Oh, okay. Find her! Suspect. Really? I'll put out APB then. No, Dooley, don't do that. Looking at this, I doubt she's going to art school. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. I 
I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Alright. Hello, Titty. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid nose. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have run off too. Right. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. We'll check out the attic later. What an odd place for a telephone. <coughs> they must have run out of places to draw, I mean, put it. Alright, master bedroom. Let's talk to the nanny, the only one that seems to be talking to this kid or the old one. What's a nanny doing in the pastor bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. Tell me about Jenny. She's, um, spoiled. It sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having a super rich parents would do to you, I guess. Did we that right? How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones is detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still gotta pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. No. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. We're done here for now. I'll get to back. I'll get back to work and nothing else. <coughs> God, that voice. <coughs> it's not like Rowley, but fuck. Poor woman must be worried sick about her kid. We'll find her, detective. <coughs> Jenny and her mom look happy here. Seems impolite to go rifling around about in somebody's drawers uninvited. Oh, fuck. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. Strange page. Let's see. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. Is there anything underneath the daughter's bed, maybe? Paint thinner fell f when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. Looks like this gave way recently. Spilling paint, yeah, spilling paint thinner all over the wall. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold or smash in a child's head. May not be broken after all. Just a blown ball. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. As addicts go, this one is a bit creepy. Alright, well. These are from the Busty Bells bo Booty Boutique. This kid didn't win out on father stakes. Uh, fuck, whatever. Um, that was just came out. No? Closet. Hmm, a black light bulb. Might as well, may as well take it. Ugh. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats, and we've got ourselves a good night. Let's celebrate after we find the kid, eh? Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? 
What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I finally found out something about interesting matters. What? I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. One of those crystals is worth more than I can get paid in a year. We could take one. You uh, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. Alright. Well, can we go back up here? Blacklight bulb for blacklighting things. Alright. Uh huh. Uh huh. May not be yeah, blown by. What the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Uh, I have the pattern, but nothing to draw. something else around here. <laughs> Pens. This is no time for art, detective. Black light. This looks useful. Okay. This seems cool so far. Okay, I should have everything I need. Let's get down to some... Oh, hi, please. I just need to redraw the missing symbols. and nanny, yes. Do you have any keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. May I have the keys to the study, then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there, anyway. Alright, cool. Well, you know what? We should talk to her. Um, there's this... Have you found her? Have you found my baby? Not yet, but I want to ask. You have to find her, please. Find my baby. My baby. Oh, oh, oh. Can't remember the fucking voice I used for. Find her. What can you tell me about the demonic doorway in the attic? Nothing. Not a thing. It's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work and nothing else. Study. And hey, presto, we're in! A nice collection of books. Shame the dust suggests they haven't been looked at in a long time. Magazine collection. Jeez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. Haha. Ha. 
Roy Jones Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. Oil painting? I don't like the painting, but I have no reason to ruin it. An old oil lamp. Seems to have some oil lamp too. Alright, cool! Well, let's head on up. I really like this thing, you know, just in case. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No harm detected, but I'm nowhere near that group first. I'll uh, stand guard out here. Jenny! Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry. The sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That daft cop? I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm gonna trap you here. At least take the girl. At least take the girl! Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal, I'm her legal guardian that way. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. What's this about? An inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's a perfect, barely perfect crime. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? She knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know how to keep her mouth shut. What about Dooley? He'll wake up and know what happened. Hmm, good point, I'll just have to get you to drag him in to here with you. Come on. No, we're going downstairs. One more step and I'll shoot detective. Now get to hall. Alright. Alright. I'm scared, mister. I knew those paint buckets were having to knock someone out. Have a taste of your own medicine. No. Well, that problem solvent. Come on, Jenny. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Um, okay, Mister. So the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side. But that's a surprisingly useful summary of things, yeah. She the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid. Steal all their cash. I said it was a shame. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from, anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, I had to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Okay, that is pretty cool.